how's it going there this is chris aka morning cup of bro here with another video game we're going to play today it is called death and taxes and this game is pretty much you're a reaper you're the grim reaper and you get to decide who lives and dies but you have certain things you have to look for or like if they have certain backgrounds you got to keep them alive or kill them but you pretty much get to decide whether someone lives or dies it's pretty fun i've already played it one time through but i'm gonna play it again so i can have a recording and have this on youtube so uh i guess we'll just dive right in okay all right guys let's get right into this game and uh see how it goes all right Fate, keeper of world order. He needs lemons to create the Grim Reaper. Does a little beetle thing, you know? Keeping it cool. Oh boy. Ruin a little potion here to make me that's me but you know let's look let's look dope okay let's let's go money bags okay Ooh, actually i like this one he looks pretty sick all right Finally, the, the new, new spawn, spawn has awoken what a uh, momentous day. I am honored to welcome you into our world, Spawn. Hang on. Spawn number 39. 39, dude? You're making the wrong ones, but you just made the right one. Let's go. I am Faith. I am, I am the, the keeper, keeper of, of world, world order. Okay, so we got options to say. Hello, a pleasure to meet you, Fate. Oh, a polite Grim Reaper for a change. This is a good start. Welcome to your new job as an overseer of Cosmopolis City Subdivision 4, the Sun County Wine Region. Okay. I know what you are thinking, and yes, your assignment is choosing humans who have to die. Pretty standard stuff. Lit. As it is your first day, try to get to know the system and do not destroy the world, yes? <laughs> Gallows humor, you see? Right, yes. <clears throat> Clear? Um, <laughs> Wait, I have to kill people? You misunderstand. The people are already in life-threatening situations. You choose the ones you save, and the ones who you do not. Remember, the fate of the world lies in your hands. Humans march towards the great dying. They always teeter on the precipice, creating endless chaos. We keep humans from falling off. We establish the equilibrium and keep the chaos in check. For that reason, your actions will have consequences. I was born to do this, okay? Yes, you, you know, I was quite Did literally you? made in a cauldron I to do this. You your workplace. One more thing. This will be your seven day evaluation period. When the week is done, you will be assessed. 
Yikes. One week to show us what you are made of, Reaper. All right, so pretty much we just get to choose who lives and dies. Oh my god. That is a fidget spinner. Spoon! All right, I need to stop doing that. Oh, okay, okay. All right. Welcome, Grim. Here are the files on humans who are in life-threatening situations within your domain. I am granting you time to settle in, so no difficult rules and requests as of today. Quota for the day, one human has to die. Send me the files by fax after you have made your decision. Good luck on the first day, fate. All right, so pretty much we just have to pick someone to die. Uh, okay. So there's a massive wildfire threatens to engulf the whole wine region of Sun County. Nice. <laughs> I see a firefighter and I see an astrophysicist. Hmm. Who do I choose? Which one can stop a fire? Oh. I'm guessing let let's save the one who can actually stop the fire so sorry shield van den senden amadu okoyi is the one that gets to live all right so i'm assuming okay so we click that and then it gets faxed over easy easy and that's just how you become the grim reaper and get shit done Welcome. How was your first day? Really good. Great. We are counting on your dedication. You do important work, after all. Remember, lives are on the line. I see exactly one person perished today, as tasked. Did you figure out the best choice? I think I did. To be honest, I gave a simple one to begin with. There was no best choice. Sometimes none of the options are good. Not for everyone. But I chose the one that could stop a wildfire versus someone who just looks at, you know, red dwarves, astrophysicists, whatever. Such is the unfortunate, indisputable, incontrovertible, Ironclad law of cosmos. Question? Mm -hmm. Nope, I'm ready for anything. Keep your eye on the letter for future guidelines and keep up the good work. A new day awaits. Off you go now. All right. Morning, Grim. I hope you found your accommodations adequate. Here are the rules of the day. Follow them and you will be okay. I am handing you another simple task. Quota for the day. One human with engineering or industrial background has to die. Business as usual. Fight. Alright. Heroic firefighter saves vineyards from certain dooms. Sales of regional wine on the rise. Okay, see, I think we picked the right one. Okay. Solderer, news anchor, and industrial chemist. Okay, what? Industrial, okay, so... The one person that's got industrial as a thing. Alright, sorry Verity Hawthorne, you don't get to live because you did industrial. But Adina Sanchi and John Jan Weber get to live. Lucky you guys. You, you weren't smart enough to die. Grim, 
How was the second day on the job? Great. It gladdens me to hear that. So, did you follow the rules properly? Uh, I did. Great. Yes, everything looks to be in order. Continue the good work and do not let tough choices get you down. Sounds great. Great indeed. We could use more spawns with your attitude. Rest well. You will need it. See you soon. We'll see you soon. Aw, cute little kitty. Okay. Local technician introduces new exciting soldering techniques that may change the whole world. Recent nuclear meltdown caused by serious safety violation, reports Asanchi. Parliament to discuss stricter safety requirements for nuclear plants. Chemist uses experimental anti-aging drug on themselves, grows younger until finally ceases to exist. Government to seek the ban of dangerous de-aging research. Okay. Morning, Grim. A new day dawns. You ought to know the drill by now, but just in case, here is another simple one. No special request today. Try to follow the rules and choose the appropriate profiles, then send them to me by fax. Two humans have to die. Keep up the good work. Fate. Alright. Two humans have to die. There's a hairdresser, a veterinarian, Okay. There's nothing Armin likes to do more than gossip. Working as a hairdresser provides ample opportunity for this hobby. Due to memory issues, Armin occasionally starts gossiping about the client they're currently working with. Wow. Okay. Annie has a special connection with an uh, animals from a very young age, occasionally even preferring their company over humans. Although they have only worked as a vet for a few years, they are already considered a legend and nicknamed the Mouse Whisperer. Well, I don't know if I'd like that name. Okay. Intern. Archibald thought their dream had come true after they landed landed an internship at major publishing company. Turns out they dislike both their job and their sometimes mean slash sometimes indifferent boss. They now pass their time at work playing pranks on their supervisor. Okay, so this guy, he takes bribes. So, sorry buddy. Okay, so there's an intern, there's a hairdresser, or veterinarian, so it's between the hairdresser and the intern, ooh, okay, we'll go with the hairdresser because, you know, if you're, you're gonna, I mean, I guess at least he taught, says it in their face, but it's only because he's got a, an issue. All right, and you live. All right, that's two people dying. Grim, my latest spawn. Three days you have been with us. How do you feel? Awesome, bouncing the world, getting things done. Excellent, that is what I hoped to hear. As you may imagine, it is important to keep morale up in our line of work. Now, let me take a look at the files you sent me today. Right, everything looks to be in order. You have followed the rules and marked the correct amount of profiles. Oh, thank you for reminding me, Lady Poddington. Okay, Grim, about your payment which I may have forgotten about earlier. I was supposed to get paid this whole time? Yes, an unfortunate uh, oversight. Well, that's rude. The contract stipulates that every desk gets a fair salary based on their performance accuracy. Marking profiles correctly is the most important task. If you mark more or less than necessary, 
you will not get your fee. Okay. Errors in secondary tasks will reduce the total, even if the primary task is executed correctly. There really is not much else to say. You may leave. See you tomorrow. See you, fate. I love you. All right. Oh. All right, guys. I think I'm going to end it there. Uh, we will be finishing this probably in another episode. And if you guys actually like it, I'll probably get it when it actually fully releases. And then we'll see how it goes. Because this is uh, Twitch compatible as well. So if you come to the live stream, you're able to vote on the dying or the living choices. Which seems pretty cool to me. So uh, if you want to go check this game out, it's called T Death and Taxes. It's on Steam right now. You can get the demo of it. And I'm pretty sure it goes completely full live. Uh, on the 20th of February. So, uh, yeah, I think that's about it. I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, you know, when I stream Monday, Wednesday, Friday on twitch.tv, and uh, let's get it. I'll see you next time. Bye.